here today to show you a big e.l.f. unboxing that I purchased last week. It's literally been on my shelf for a week and I've been wanting to film this for you guys. But I've been so busy on vacation. Me and my husband have been running around doing a lot of crazy stuff. So today I finally had the time to sit down and talk about this box that has been sitting on my dresser forever. I'm so excited to show you guys today. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the new e.l.f. clay clay eyeshadow palette. I got it in Saturday Sun Sunsets. It is new to their their line and it is it's such a pretty pretty palette. First of all, can we talk about the packaging of e.l.f.? I really, I mean you're not paying very much for this stuff and the packaging is just beautiful. If you want to display this on your counter at, in your bedroom on your makeup counter it would look just perfect there. So let me open this up and show you what you're getting. You are getting, let me turn that, five different colors. You're getting a, a highlight, a base, a crease, a line, and a lid. Now just because they tell you that that's what you're getting and that's what they mark them for what you can use them for, it does not mean that that's what you have to use these products for. You can use them for whatever you want on your face, but that's they're kind of just giving you a guideline on what they, what they are. So these eyeshadows are new to e.l.f. and they say that they are uh, richly pigmented silky smooth powder powder blends effortlessly into your lid I haven't tried these yet I just got them in the mail um, and I'm going to try them out and then I'll give you guys my opinion uh, on them in a later date let's just go ahead and stick our fingers in there and see if I can give you guys kind of a what they look like on your face here, on my arm here. Mm. Ooh. So, if you can kind of see that, these are what the colors look like. God, I just did that so bad. That dark color, the liner color, is absolutely beautiful, guys. It is beautiful. And you know, when I put my fingers in there and smudged them and then rubbed them on my, on my arm, I did not get any fallout. So actually, I think I'm gonna be in love with this little palette. I think it was around, five maybe four dollars for that little palette love it so I will let you know how that goes for me I also received a long-lasting luster eyeshadow now it comes in a little box like this and it is it is a purple color what color is this Ooh. fancy I think it says I'm the worst speller in the world so if it doesn't say fancy I'm sorry um, let me open the box and get it out. So the first thing I noticed when I got this, and I haven't used it yet, but I did open up everything because I love getting packages in the mail, and I open everything. Actually, my kids open everything the minute it comes in, and then I have to go through it and make sure that they haven't taken anything out because they're little brats. But the first thing I did notice about this new eyeshadow, um, long-lasting luster eyeshadow stuff that they have, it reminds me of ColourPop's... Um, eyeshadows. The texture is so similar. It's like that that bouncy wet texture and it is I mean, it's probably it doesn't you have to do a few little swipes to get, you know, the color payoff on it. You can see that there, I hope. And it's really glitter glittery and pretty. I do think I'm going to like this. This one um was priced at $3 and the ColourPop ones are priced at Five. So, I mean, if you're wanting to try the texture of what ColourPop has before you decide to go and, you know, make a big purchase with them, that's something that you might want to pick up and see. The difference between the ColourPop ones and the e.l.f. ones are, um, e.l.f. doesn't have as many colors as ColourPop does. So, ColourPop has, like, not millions, but it feels like millions of colors. And e.l.f., I think, only has, like, ten colors to choose from. So, that's where that is when it comes to that but yeah this I, I, I thought you can only get that kind of texture from ColourPop and then I got this in the mail and I didn't realize what I was ordering and I'm pretty excited to try this out so another thing I will let you know I'll do a comparison um, from the elf one and the ColourPop one and let you know what my thoughts are on that I also received or ordered the um, baked eyeshadow palette so if you guys know anything about baked eyeshadows you should use them wet because otherwise you won't get the color payoff on them. Here it is. It's open. So pretty. Um, there we go. And then these are like purpley, you know, black colors and stuff like that. But they're not. Let me. 
those are the darker colors and let me go in with a light color here they're not like really really and you probably can't see that very well really really pigmented I mean they are but they're not as pigmented as they could be when you wet your brush and and put them on that way and that's I think that's what this um, these palettes are meant for the baked stuff if you want to wet them you can get a, a better pop on your eyes now again this packaging on this is just it's really sturdy to me and it it comes with this huge mirror let me do it like that I'm not gonna put it so you guys can see but it comes with this huge mirror so it do, it does come with good stuff for the price I believe that one was about six to ten dollars I'm not too sure but the only thing is is that it doesn't come with a brush so I mean but elf brushes are so cheap and they're such good quality you can pick up an elf brush pick up the palette and you're still spending less than you would for higher end stuff so there's that okay I also received some eyelashes and I don't know why I insist on buying eyelashes I don't know how to use them very well but I'm going to conquer this fear of eyelashes and you guys are gonna watch me do it so I just ordered their little um, eyelash palette it comes with a little eyelash holder the glue a thing to put your eyelash on and then two eyelash um, an eyelash set and then I ordered another one um, the natural lush kit and this comes with the glue and an eyelash and I think that one was like a dollar or two dollars or something like that now I have a million of these eyeliners. I always order new ones. This one is in black, which is what I always get. I love these. These are two bucks to a dollar. Liquid eyeliner, great. I can never go wrong with these. My daughter loves them. I always have about five or six of them on hand in my house. They got a new eyebrow pencil um, thing in. So right now I'm using their palette their eyebrow palette, let me try to open this, their eyebrow palette that has like the the powder and then the the gel on one side and it comes with a little brush. I love that stuff. I've been using it for years and I really, really, really do like it. But this, they just came out with this new pencil and I figured why not? If, if it makes my life easier in the morning, we'll try it. So on one side it has a spoolie. There we go. And then on the other side it has the let me put that on there. The actual makeup. And so, let me see here. You don't have to, you don't have to press too hard. So it's not like creamy, creamy. Actually, I hope this does work. Because it's not too creamy. Oh, you guys can't see that. There we go. It's not too creamy. So I think for me that's good because then it's not that's not gonna slide right off my face. But it's kind of it's not too hard either but when I do you know rub on it it does kind of fade away so we'll see how that works it was only a dollar or two so I figured why not I mean if, if it doesn't work then I've only wasted a dollar and not fifty dollars on something really really high-end and I won't I won't be too upset so <laughs> I also received the um, luminizing mist and set setting spray this is new as well I'll let you guys know how this is I'm an, I have an oily face I don't know why I purchased that one I guess I want to shine like a diamond. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, but we'll see how that works out and if it makes my oily face even worse. Um, they also have a matte one, which I should have picked. I think I actually tried I tried to pick the matte one, but the matte one was out of stock at the time. So I ended up getting this one instead just to see how it works. Either way, if it doesn't work out for me, it'll definitely work out for my daughter because she has perfect skin. So that little brat. <laughs> All right, moving on. I also got the um, contouring palette. It's new to e.l.f. as well. And it didn't give you like an option to pick like, you know, dark light or anything like that. It just came with four different colors in it. So it has your highlighter, your um, contour or your um, light, light stuff, and then your two dark little palettes there. Sorry about that, guys. Again, let me just say the mirrors that come with these little palettes are awesome. I mean, you could totally just put this stuff in your, your purse and you'll have a huge mirror all day long. So, and then the packaging is just great. So I'll let you know how that works out. I haven't tried it. It's a powder in powder form rather than um, cream form. So I prefer the powder, but I've used cream as well because I do have a ColourPop cream contour. So I, I like that as well. So either way, we'll see how that works. I also got a contouring blush and bronzer and this is in cream and this is new to e.l.f. as well and it comes in a little package like this and this is a the cream one it comes they all, they all come with this little thing there and it's just a blush and the um, dark contour 
and cream. So there's that. I got a um, their new um, maximum coverage concealer oil free. Now I have some crazy little spots on my face so I figured I'd give this a try and see how this works. I'll let you guys know how that works. Um, I, I did get some of their baked blushes and their baked um, oh blush 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 and their baked bronzers. Um, I only got three of them so the first one I got was peachy cheek peachy cheeky. Um, it's a cute color. Um, it's not very very dark when it comes to it. I, like I said, I pulled these out and looked at them. It's not very, very dark. It's just subtle, subtle. I love it. I'll let you guys know as the days go by how I like it. I also re um, got this um, bronzer, baked bronzer in St. Luca, and it's kind of like a golden color. I think this is going to be more of a highlight on my face because I'm not, um, I'm not that light, even though it looks that way in the camera. My face is a little bit darker than that, so this is probably going to end up being a highlight rather than a bronzer on me. I also got a um, another blush, baked blush in Rich Rose. Again, this is really, really pretty. But, you know, when I swatch these two together, they look really similar. So I don't know if these are buildable or not, but I will let you know. Either way, I think they're around $3, so, I mean, you can always use these for eyeshadows, um, blushes, anything that you want, so I'll let you know. I've, I've heard a lot of good things on YouTube about these products, so that's why I picked them up, because, you know, I like to follow what people say and try them out myself. I did get an actual blush just by itself, just your regular old kind of blush. This isn't new to um, e.l.f. or anything like that, but I wanted to pick it up, and it's blush, Blushing Rose is the color. And it comes like this. And again, like I said, if you're looking for something that comes with a little brush, um, these are not the products to do that with. Just pick up one of their $3 or $6 blushes and you'll be good to go. Um, this is a really, really soft blush. I mean, when I put my finger through it, it's just soft. Let me see if you can see that color there. That's the color of this blushing, blushing rose color. I think it's going to be beautiful. I'll let you guys know how I, how I feel about it after I start using it. Alright, moving on guys. I received, or I ordered, um, the matte lip color in Rush Red. My daughter loves red. I have another one of their matte colors in Nude. Love it. So I know she's going to love this. These do actually stay on for a little bit. As long as you're not doing crazy stuff like eating a bunch of greasy foods and stuff like that. For the most part, their matte colors stay on. Um, they do transfer because they're not like matte, like dry matte, like the liquid dry matte lipsticks are. But these are really good. And I, I like them for, I think it was $3 or something like that. Or, you know, maybe two, maybe three. I think it was three. Um, I did get two of their lipsticks. So I do have a couple of e.l.f. lipsticks and I love them and they're not very expensive and they do what I want them to do throughout the day so I will continue to buy e.l.f. lipsticks as long as I like the colors that they have. I did receive um, Flirty Flamingo and it's, look at the little, can we talk about this packaging? It's so pretty. It's really pretty. So let me see if I can get the color for you on that. It's kind of a pinky red color. And that is what Flirty Flamingo looks like. Now, these are not matte lipsticks. Um, oh, it says Velvet Matte. So, I'm not too sure what that means. But it says Velvet Matte. So, it must be like a little shiny with a little matte on it. So, I got that one in the Flirty Flamingo. And then I also got the same kind of lipstick in the color Blushing Brown. I like... I like neutral brownie colors, and so it has the same pretty packaging, and let me show you what that one looks like right next to this other one here. So that's a darker color. I think that you can kind of tone it down with a little lighter color and then put this on top or, you know, however you do it, but yeah, I, I love the creaminess of e.l.f. lipsticks, so I continue to buy them whenever I like the colors that I find. It's kind of hard to buy color lipstick online because you don't know exactly what you're getting. Um, because you can't try it on or look at it. So, I'm going to just drop. Alright, so moving on, I've got a jumbo lip gloss stick. Um, these are long wearing tinted lip colors. I got it in nude. And when they say these are long wearing tinted nude colors, they're not lying. They are. I love them. They're like two bucks or a dollar. They might be a dollar. 
they're perfect I have my I have one already in like a pinky color this is a nude color I'm so excited to try this one out it's something you can just throw in your purse and you know have it in there all day and just refresh your, your lipstick throughout the day and they're not like crazy you know crazy lip colors to where you have to be perfect you can just do it like real quick which is what I do without any mirror and it works really well all right so I've got an extra lip gloss it's called extra lip gloss in the color Michelle and it comes like this I believe this is about two dollars so this is new to the elf line as well um, let me open it up so we can see what it looks like all right so it has kind of a flat applicator you know just your regular applicator it's a flat one and let's see Ooh, that is bright okay so this is even though it says a lip gloss this is a lip gloss with color so you're gonna have to be precise when you put this one on this is not one that you can just put on you know throughout the day without a mirror but that is a pretty color so I'm excited about that one as well I'm gonna throw that in my purse okay so speaking of elf brushes I did get a couple of elf brushes that I was excited about and couldn't find in my store so I just ordered them online because I wanted to try them so I've got the new ultra blending bl brush and it come, they come like this in a little package. And you, you'll see them in like your, you know, Walmart or your um, Target like that. This is a fluffy brush. And, you know, it's just a blendable brush. It's so pretty. And it I, I love e.l.f. brushes. I can't say enough about e.l.f. brushes. I know that there are so many YouTubers out there that really, really enjoy the higher end brushes. And to be quite honest, I have a few higher end brushes. And I, I, I love the e.l.f. brushes more. So, I mean... I might be crazy, but I figure they work just as well for me, and they're cheaper, so why not, you know? I also got the Studio um, Stipple Brush, and it comes like, like this in a little package like this. And it's just, it has different little things, and stipple brushes are for when you're putting on, you know, creamy blushes, or you're putting on your uh, um, foundation. It helps blend stuff in. And then, last but not least, I got the contouring brush. Now, um, this is new to their line as well. This is a weird-looking little brush because it's not, like, fluffy, fluffy. It is pretty much straight-edged, if you can see that. And so, basic, and it's really, really, really dense. It's a dense brush. So, basically, it's you put it in your contour, and it just helps you, you know, get those lines that you want on your face much better. And then you blend them out. You can blend them out with this, you know... Um, brush or whatever brush you have in your your in your little what am I what am I trying to say whatever brush you have just use it because it will work so all right so that is my big elf haul if you guys have any questions about anything that I showed you today or want to see me do like a tutorial show you how it works just comment down below um, I'll be happy to do that I have no problem with that also if you don't mind giving me a thumbs up or thumbs down and subscribing to my channel that will help me up a lot help me out a lot all right guys I will see you in a couple of days I think I'm gonna repost another video here soon because I am on vacation and I was trying to get a lot of this videos up and just didn't do it so hopefully I will be up and running again soon with more videos all right we will see you next week if not have a good week and I'll talk to you later bye guys